Um, good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker, Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, KJ folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. No, that doesn't work. No, no. Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Mr. Sirkos, those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here's too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Been pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> Your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans. Hans Varlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any news of him. How's he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here? Make an old showman mighty happy. If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses. Cause I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. Hans? Yes, Kate? Hans, why are you so eager to find Siberia? I don't know, Kate. I've been looking for it for so long. <laughs> okay, so I find the coal, then we leave. Do hurry, Kate. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later.
Hi, Malika. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Out of luck. The can's empty. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fill it. Honestly, oh, I mean to say, what an, what is it this time? Shut it, right? You hulking jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Good day, sir. Don't go in telling me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... From New York. New York, eh? Hey, <laughs> well, I never... You travelling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm travelling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Sir, I'd like to... Look, we ain't got no time to waste with you, sugar mitts. Try not being quite so pushy. <laughs> You're starting to give me and my brother ideas, right? <laughs> mm. I see. Be a pity if something nasty happened to you, my little pouty lips. <laughs> I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry we ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? Oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? <laughs> and that smoke works on electricity, too? Uh, see, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and uh, Ivan to work. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N-O-G-A-S. No gas. N-O. No. Uh, no gas. No gas. Hey, sir, I really need some gas, and looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no? As in, no, we ain't got none. No ga uh, no gas. No gas. I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> No Russian tin can, that baby, or no? Nice train. Nice. Nice. Doo doo. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. You must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> doo doo. Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dream, you say? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. A childhood dream. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> if I don't get some gas, I can't get any coal, and my train is just going to stay here blocked in this station. And so what do you want from us? Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No, goodbye.
Hey, no! No! Ah! You clam brain blubber bag! Wait till I catch you! Yuck, this machinery stinks to high heaven. Excuse me, sir? Are you sleeping? Uh? What? Uh, uh, what do you want? I've got a little something to say to your brother. Uh, Ivan, he, uh... Leave me all alone here. My brother, uh, abandoned me. God, how I pity you, Igor. Dumb animal. All the cash it might have brought me gone up in smoke. The... There is Ivan. Ivan will be happy to see you. You know, go... Go, Missy. What? You let the Yankee leave? You are a Yuki brain, Igor. A lunch shack Yuki brain. <sighs> that was a close call. He's back. It's better that I don't go. <sighs> it's really a bit too cold. This path must lead to the monastery. Pity it's so far away. Maybe I can stop off on my way back from Siberia. This path... Generator's working. Now I just have to get the coal up there. Hi, Malka. To you. Malka, I finally managed to get that machine working. So, now you must smell bad too, Kate Walker. <laughs> I tell you, that's manners. Does that mean you're going? Yeah. I've got to carry on with my journey. Have a nice trip. I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. That doesn't work. Nope. 
Mr. Sirkos? What can I do? The monastery up there. Does anyone live there? Oh, the old patriarch and a few monks must still be hanging around. Rarely get out at all, never see them around town. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. Weird vehicle. has happened. Calm down, Oscar. What's happened? Mr. Forelberg has disappeared. What? He was in the train, and now he isn't. Don't panic, Oscar. He can't have gotten far. I'll go and round him up. He is not in the best of health, Kate Walker. And it is so cold. I know, I know, but calm yourself down. I'll go and look for him right away. Colonel. What is it now, little miss? Colonel, I've repaired your coal machine, and I've managed to open the gate. This time I'll turn a blind eye. But you have violated state-registered property, Miss Walker. Maintenance won't like it, that's for sure. But then again, we see them so rarely these days. Anyway... You won't get any trouble from me. I'm looking for a friend of mine. You wouldn't have seen him by any chance. Sorry. I have not seen anyone. My friend Hans got out of the train without telling me. You mean he disobeyed orders? He's not so young anymore. And our driver is a stickler for the rules. Passengers should not just get off the train for no reason. We have a long journey to make. Oh, it's true your driver did seem a bit... Uh, how would you say... uptight? Excuse me, Colonel, but I have to go out for a while. Do what you have to do, Miss Walker.
Would you have a second you could spare? Oh, so you're still here then? Malka, have you seen my friend Hans? He's not in great shape. I've got to find him. The little man? Yes, I've seen him. He's kind. He told me about mammoths and faraway places. So you have seen Hans. Where is he? He went to Circo's place. He said, I'm just going to drop in on an old friend. I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It's not his fault. How's it going? Your brothers are good for nothing imbecile, Anna. You hear me? A feeble idiot! How's it going? Siberia. No answer. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm going away. To the Hamptons. But I'll be back midweek. Call me then. Au revoir. Mom's not at home. Uh, she'd have never understood why I'm still here anyway. reached Marson and Lormont. Why do I even keep trying this number? No answer. Probably a wrong number. How's it going? Your brothers are good. Hmm, Hans's mammoth doll. Hans's cylinder. Kate Walker, what does all this mean? I don't know, Oscar. Hans has had a kind of fit, a kind of delirium. His health isn't exactly a hundred percent right now. Why, that's simply awful, Kate Walker. We must do something. Things cannot go on like this! Please, calm down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Kate Walker, but do hurry! It's a little chilly to be taking a shower.
Oscar? Are you still here, Kate Walker? Mr. Forelberg needs you terribly. Please do not procrastinate. Hans isn't feeling so great, Oscar. You've got to help me treat him. I do not have sufficient knowledge of human mechanics. The human body presents a somewhat complex system, Kate Walker. Okay. Of course I understand. I'll try to find someone competent. Please do hurry, Kate Walker. Hans Vorlberg seems to be running out of steam. As soon as I find help, I'll come back, Oscar. Oscar, is this the first time that Mr. Vorlberg has had an illness like this? I don't know Mr. Vorlberg any more than you do, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, after all. A machine born of creative genius. The feeling of concern I feel for my creator, at this precise moment, is merely the result of a wheelwork combination designed to produce just this effect. I don't like it when you talk like that, Oscar. If we go now, Oscar, we're sure to find someone who can help us on the way. Nothing of the sort, Kate Walker. The rest of our journey is long and perilous. What will we do if we encounter no help along the way? I guess you're right. Oscar, I should go try and get help in this town. Sadly, Kate Walker, there is clearly no doctor here. There must be someone. What do people do here when they're sick? Right. I'm going to look for help. Yes, do hurry up, Kate Walker. <laughs>